Whose is it? I have no idea. Just shoot it. Give her a break. Give her. Give her a break. Bruce. Bruce. Stop. Hey. Hornball. No. Not. <laughs> You're a stinker. Ginger's going to come down here and whip you. Okay. Morning, everybody. Chad. Doss Farms. <laughs> Woo. All right. They need fly spray. And... Ornery little stinger. Then he fly spray, so I need to move the troughs Whoa. into the panel system from AeroQuip that we have. Huge thanks to them. Yeah. Stay tuned, they're taking us somewhere next week. You don't wanna miss that. You're welcome. And that's how you pee on your beard, in case you were wondering. No, don't bring that, mm-mm, uh-uh. Oh. Nope. Anyway, yep, stay tuned. Anyway, I'm gonna move the panels, you're gonna watch me, and then I'll feed them, and we'll we're gonna spray fly spray, not what Bruce just did. This is going to be kind of crazy because I got to get cubes in there without getting stabbed. And they are leaning on go. I want to show you something. Look at that. The raccoon or possum getting in there and cleaning out the trough. He left his, left his muddy little paw prints. I could kick that out and give him a little bit more room, but I don't want to lose this flow that I've got here towards that. So anyway, let's spread some cubes and see what happens. All right, so now everybody's trapped. So let's give them the old rundown here. That's what we like to see. Look at how bad them flies are, my goodness. I don't know if it's the humidity or what, but they've just really picked up.
Sipsy's gonna realize she can't go anywhere here in a minute. She'll just stand there and take it. She don't like it, which is crazy. Can you guys even see her? No, not really, sorry. But you guys tell me, there's also some kind of fly. There's some kind of fly that like, the horn fly like drills into their skin or something or what, I mean, these are nasty. Now it looks like, it looks like there's more flies than there actually is because there is, they're in such a close quarters right now and I'm spraying repellent. So the flies are, so the flies are going crazy looking for somewhere to land. I got Frank. Tipsy is the one we want. <laughs> and she's just letting it happen now. She knows she can't go anywhere. Alright, let's let him out of here before. Before Tipsy figures out, if she really wanted to, she could bust out. So, let's open this up. I feel good about that. That's everybody that needs it, that's for sure. Somebody asked me how we had flies and ticks. One on my hat. Um, somebody asked me how we had flies, ticks, and fleas, and all that stuff with chickens. Well, first off, I'm happy to report because you guys know what my brother Kyle's been through at K&S Get Out. Always link down below. I'm happy to report we didn't have, amen, any tick issues this year. And I think in large part of that is we keep the grass, in case you didn't know, I actually call that the putting green. Here, look. I mow that grass around that cabin short, man. I mean, I keep it tight. And when you do that, you discourage parasites and ticks and things like that because ticks actually hang on the tree branches and the tall grass like they'll climb up to the top of a piece of ragweed that's growing and they'll wait for you to walk by that's what they do it's i think they're thermal sensing so they sense your body heat and that's when they like let go um, of the weed or whatever they're holding on to so anyway i'm sure there's many other things they do to get on you but that's one of them but by keeping that grass short and by only having one tree or two right around the house, there's nowhere for them to like drop onto us or whatever. I guarantee if I walk back through there, well, I don't know, maybe because the chicken coop's back here now, but you stand a much higher percentage of getting a tick if you walk through that back there. I don't care what spray you're using. But as far as flies and larvae go, somebody said, man, how do you have flies? How do you have all that larva? Why do farmers struggle with that? And it was just a question somebody was asking. Well, you got to remember the flies that land on the cows they land on the cows they breed on the cows they multiply on the cows they're not like on the ground they don't sleep on the ground at night they stay on the cows they're a parasite they never leave but look how good they look now i mean look at that bunch of dead flies but very very few flying around now there i got some overspray in there and every single ugh, Every single stinking video I spray over their feed, somebody gets a hot and bothered, okay? There are 8 million different kinds of fly spray on the market. And this one is not safe to drink, but it's okay spraying it over the food just to treat them if they ingest a little bit because it drips or there's overspray. This is the best solution I've got for fly spray right now. It's worked all summer with the exception of Patrick. But the reason I don't mind which by the way, he did get a fly spray dose this morning. He doesn't run from it, which it stinks. And not that I've wanted a cow that runs from it like Tipsy to get pink eye. But what's crazy is Patrick doesn't run from it and he's still got pink eye. And I wish I could have shown you, but you farmers and ranchers out there, you'll know Tipsy, because she can't reach it. It's like the flies know where to land. Tipsy gets flies. There's some right there. She gets flies right there on her underbelly. Well, guess where Patrick gets most of his food? Her udder. So, 
I really think that the flies were obviously carrying the pink eye. Oh, that's how Bruce gets hurt, by the way. That right there. Yep. But anyway, Patrick, I believe, got his fly or pink eye from nursing. I mean, they're <laughs> getting milk, but you know what I'm saying. But I 100% think that's where that came from. Basically, Tipsy's undercarriage, underbelly. <laughs> undercarriage. That was funny. Some people ask why we have flies or ticks or fleas or whatever if you have chickens or guineas or whatever. Well, the chickens, I mean, we got 20 acres and 12 chickens. 11, 12, yeah. It's just not plausible. It's, you just can't beat them. You cannot beat the flies. Now, there are systems out there. I know you guys have tagged me in videos and sent me links, and I'm actively looking, but heading into winter, this has been working. And the flies, as soon as we get a hard frost, I know it might be mid-October, whatever, the flies will go away. And then one of my goals over this winter is to come up with more of a system. Now, not that this doesn't work, because it does, okay? Patrick did not get pink eye because we weren't treating for flies. He got pink eye, and nobody's called me out, but he got pink eye because the flies land in those spots where cows can't get to and scratch, which is what happened with Tipsy. She can't scratch the inside of her udder, okay? She can't scratch that inside of her hip. And there were flies there, and I think when Patrick was nursing, that's what happened. So why didn't Frank get it? Well, I think not that highlands don't get flies, because they do. But it's not as easy to be a parasite with something that's hairy like June. Anyway, the more you know. What's up, Chicken? How you doing? Are you sleeping? Oh, no. Here. Let's just feed the bird herd. One. Dose. Oh, it didn't break, sorry. Oh, it didn't break, sorry. Doggone it. You guys know why these don't break, right? Because they're free range. These shells are hard, man. Real hard. And their yolks are orange, not yellow. Because they free range. Uh, der, tra, catra. Is that French? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Looks like that one kind of got hung up on the way out. Thank you, birdies. Thank you, thank you. Jeez, look at that view. Just look at it. Oh, neighbor's cow's got some hay. Hey, hey, hey. Shout out to Mr. S again. Remember we had an issue with the fence. Neighbor's bull tried to come through it. He actually, he was leaning on it, man. He was, he was, I should say not leaning on it. He was leaning on go. And Mr. S, one of our neighbors that leases, yeah, he's technically a neighbor. He lives over that way. But he leases this land from Ben, who you guys have met. And, uh, yeah, showed up, fixed the fence. And he said, man, I got a pretty mild bull. He's actually lame in one leg. Uh, still gets the job done so he's not a very cantankerous bull he's not you know i'd have more problems with my cows and heifers than he would with his bull trying to come over here but he is a bull they are heifers and cows I and mean, they stand at the fence and moo at each other instead of wooing they're mooing <laughs> see what i did there i found my thrill on blueberry hill Woo, and my coffee that was weak look at the little babies Look at the little babies. <laughs> Tina and Roxy don't actually come down here very often. I think Tina knows it's a good place to get stabbed down here. But these two love it. They play all the time. It's pretty stinking funny. <laughs> get him, Lily. Yeah. Get him, Lily. She might be trying to protect her. Are you protecting Ruby? Are you protecting Ruby? Are you trying to take her out? <laughs> That's a good little donk. That's a good little donkey. What's up, Henri? Mm. 
All right. Woo. So that was enough cubes in the summer for, uh, oh my goodness. That was quite the snack there, huh, CJ? But that's okay. The most important thing was we got them dosed up with the meds. Good to go. Good to go. And they know they can get out both sides now. So on today's agenda, I'm not actually sure what we're doing. But because we're leaving town and we'll have a farm sitter here in case, we are putting electric fencing, which some of you guys have been telling us to do this for a long time. But honestly, we like the animals right up around us. And if they get too ornery or start messing with stuff or they kind of, you know, encroach on what's a comfortable, you know, level, all we got to do is break out the fly spray bottle and they take off running and they don't come back for like three or four hours but we're going to put electric around the cabin so that way the farm sitter and case don't have to worry about the animals trying to get to the dog food which we leave on the deck um just anything else i mean they lick they lick my grill daily i mean they're cleaning it but yeah they lick it and then i cook on it don't tell ray just a little flavor a little extra flavor man oh man hey by the way Ray thinks that she felt babies in Oreo, which I think is why you're being ornery, because Oreo might be getting close. Now, we could be way off. We could be way off. Good news. You are not pregnant, and you're not the father. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your reflection scare you there, buddy? Sorry. Oop, time to back up. Time to back up. Tissy moving. Time to back up. Woo! I dropped this when... Uh, donkeys were chasing me wanting some so i dropped it to show them it was empty scooch scooch we were in the truck now we're out of the truck there is tina and roxy just so everybody knows they're okay but i don't want to drive over there because i spread seed over there with adler that hole from about where my truck is so 50, 60 feet this way from that pole, all the way up. It's probably three or four acres at least. And I used four, no, three 50 pound bags. So spread it the other day. It's staying pretty good. Um, I was really hoping that it would soak in because the ground was wet when I spread it. But now what we're up against is it hasn't rained. And it's not gonna rain and it ain't gonna rain for like 10 days at least the 10-day forecast shows no rain so unfortunately what's gonna happen is when it rains it may wash a lot of this seed away is that some no that's bermuda that's been here a while hmm yep probably gonna lose all this seed <laughs> man it happens sometimes um, could I drive around and cover it? I could try. I could drag the field. But really what we need is a seed drill. And again, that's not something I'm trying to do right before winter. Okay. We've got plenty of hay. We're heading into winter. You're just, you don't want to add more heading into winter. You don't want to throw on one more task or one more daunting, whatever it may be. But we've got good Bermuda there. I was just wanting to throw some fescue in the middle of it. And, uh, yeah, oh, Roxy's laying down while mom eats, look. Look at the little baby. <laughs> Listen carefully. I don't know how this is gonna read in closed captioned. So read my lips. The farm sitter is a grass man. Grass man, okay? So when he gets here, I'm gonna say, hey man, no rain in the forecast. What would you do right here to keep from losing this seed? What would you do to keep it, to make a stick? Would you just water it? Or you just, I mean, I got a bunch of hoses. We can string them up and water them. So uh, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna make the grass man do it. <laughs> so anyway. Beep, beep. All right. Walk with me, talk with me. 
Hey, listen, you can't get fly spray and then get in the pond. Then it runs off. I got on it, June bug. You stinker. I gotta show you guys what I've been doing over here. We knew when it rained, it was not gonna last. Oh, and somebody calls me out because I won't pick this up, so I show it as often as I can because I'm not gonna pick it up. But we knew when it rained, it was just gonna be a like a one-off type thing, and sure enough, it was. We got about five inches of rain and three or four days, and now it's gone, gone, gone. But it's pretty cool to see what it will look like. And I do believe we'll get enough wet weather to make this a pond by this time next spring. I'm sorry, by this coming spring, if you will. So we didn't have any <clears throat> major leaks. The only leak we had, because I haven't put a mortar mix around this, you can see water is in the pipe, which is okay. But in reality, you want to put a mortar mix in there and kind of seal around that pipe. So that's what we're going to do. But in the meantime, you don't want to put that mortar mix there until you get this covered and sealed and make sure it's not leaking. Because if you have to adjust that pipe or move it, it'll crack your little mortar mix. So it's kind of a diligent little process here, but we're going to make it work. So... I don't know what the camera does to this, but it is uphill quite a bit, almost four feet higher over there than it is right here. So what we need to do is take our box blade and just start drawing some of this dirt in, make this taller. Ideally, we want to bring it up almost three feet, which we can do. Our tractor's more than capable. Very cool, that's some good dirt. Good clay but that right there is a lot of water i used to be able to park my tractor i mean i could drive my tractor out to there right here i mean i just there was a land bridge right there and now it's all underwater it's pretty crazy pretty crazy Woo! what this your pool or something Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at that big old frog, man. Big old boy. Yep, I haven't had you guys down here in a while, and I know on Case's videos, always link down below as well, he shows you guys the pond, and he said, man, dad, sometimes they ask me questions about the pond and I'm not sure what they are. I'm not sure what the answers are. So he said, you got to walk down there and show them. So here you go. Pretty cool. A lot of life, a lot of good bio life, if you will. This is a healthy pond from people who know what they're looking at. I am not one of those people. I'm learning from you guys, but I'm pleased to report people that know what they're talking about. That's a healthy pond. So just need some water.
Finn. Hey. How'd this wire get all the way in there? Huh? I just strung it up, man. I just strung it up. How'd that happen? Huh? My goodness. Hey, you look good without all them flies, by the way. You see how pretty you is? How's it going, everybody? Whew, it's been a day. Look how good looking that dude is. All right, hang on, you guys gotta take this view in. This is our view every night. Look how pretty that is. Again, that's what I call the putting green. CJ, I wouldn't pee on that once it's hot, brother. Yeah, I wouldn't do it. Please tell me that little wire ain't slowing you down though. It's not even intact. Your brother just ran right through it. You have to excuse CJ. It's a few bricks shy of a full load. So now that we've hit 100,000, and I've got your attention with that footage, I'm sure, and the thumbnail, you should know that that was a real incident. We had to recreate it, of course, but that was real. Did I shoot a drone? I don't know. Probably shouldn't put it on the interweb if I did. But uh, let's just say the other night there was a drone over our property and uh, that's not nice. That's not nice at all. You shouldn't do that because, you know, sometimes I sunbathe out here and nothing but a banana hammock and that's just not polite. I'm actually kind of a private person. I keep my circle small. Just don't want anybody seeing me in my, uh, in my skivvies. You know what I'm saying? So there's some laws about drones. I don't know who to aim this at. I don't know whose drone it was. I'm guessing they were within a mile or so because I've got a pretty beefy drone. I can go about two miles out and it'll follow me and it'll retrace the route and all that good stuff. But uh, this drone didn't look that advanced, the one that was over the property. And I'm uh, still not sure whose it was at this point. There are some things you can put on your property that will just render any objects like that. Uh, kind of like an EMP where it'll just shut them down and they'll fall to the ground and they'll lie where they lie. Now listen, there are laws. Interesting fact though is you actually have to have line of sight with it and standing in the middle of my 20 acres when I saw that drone I couldn't see anybody that would be flying that drone so there's no way you could see it whose ever's drone it was it's not important just make sure it doesn't come back that's all I gotta say by the way here's the real cool story okay I'm glad you guys made it this far in this video just just to explain that little three seconds and what happened I'm gonna give away 10 items for every 10,000 followers it took to get to 100,000 on YouTube. Now, if you're watching this on Facebook, you can absolutely enter as well. You've gotta stay tuned. One of our first gifts is gonna be from our friends at Perry. Where's my tractor? See the roof on that tractor? I'll give you a little close up later. Let's just spin it around so you can see it. The roof on that tractor is metal on one side, carpet on the other, so when it heats up, you don't get burned when you touch your little fingers to it, right? Yes, I'm talking quick. <laughs> I'm sure some of you guys are trying to hang in there, but trust me, stick around. We've got some big giveaways. I want to give away, I know I'm going to give away a few things that are bigger than anyone's ever given away in the farming niche. I can tell you that much. From the likes of Perry, from the likes of Aeroquip, I'm talking big dollar amount giveaways. Big, big. So you're going to want to stay tuned and watch the next 10 videos very, very closely because we're going to give some cool stuff away. With that said, Always practice pew pew safety and drone safety. That's a big one. Always practice drone safety. Otherwise, your drone may not be safe. <laughs> Guys, I ain't playing. I'll tell you more of this story another time, but seriously, stay tuned for these giveaways. They're gonna be epic. We're gonna give away some legit stuff. I mean, legit. Even some things you've seen on our truck that don't really fit into the farming world, those companies are gonna give away. And by the way, at the time of filming this, only one other creator out of everybody you've ever seen me work with, talk to, and hang out with congratulated me on hitting 100,000 subs. One. So stay tuned and I'll tell you who that was. And no, they didn't have my last name. Those people obviously congratulated me and I sincerely appreciate it and those folks. But stay tuned, I'll tell you who it was. They certainly deserve some credit where it's due. Y'all be good, don't work too hard, don't make it weird, God bless. Deuces, see you guys.